Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Cooking with Confidence. Today we're going to be learning how to make eggplant parmesan my way. I'm going to give you a taste of Little Italy. This is a vegetarian dish. There's no meat used whatsoever. Let's get started. So I'm starting with the spread of all of the ingredients that I'm going to be using today. And I'm going to be using some basil. The eggplant, of course, tomato, Parmesan cheese, I have shredded mozzarella, some grated Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper, Italian seasoning dried, breadcrumbs, some spaghetti sauce, some flour, olive oil, and eggs for the egg wash. So first, we're going to start out by slicing the eggplant. You want to remove that, it's the part you don't want to eat. And for me personally, I always take off the end tail as well. It just helps me slice the eggplant better. So I'm just going to start with some slices. At this part I'm going to trash, but I'm going to start with some nice slices. And I should get a nice amount of slices to make two portions here. So do thin slices. You want to do kind of thin slices so that it's not too thick when you go to fry it. That it actually cooks all the way through. So next I'm just going to take that tomato and I'm going to do some nice dices. I'm probably just going to use half of this tomato should be enough. I'm going to do nice dices and this is just going to help make the dish even more flavorful. Using fresh ingredients makes any dish <laughs> taste so much more amazing. Um, so I'm just going to dice this up and set it off to the side until we're ready to actually use this. And I'm just going to take that sliced eggplant and I'm going to lay it flat and then I'm going to take some of that salt and pepper uh, mixture that I have and just sprinkle it over top, just seasoning the eggplant underneath all of the additional, um, you know, the breading that it's going to be on top of it. So now it's time to work on this egg wash. So I'm going to pack the eggs into a bowl, both of them, and then we're going to just take a fork and I'm going to beat the eggs. And you just want to beat them um, about a minute, 45 seconds to a minute maybe and you should be good to go. So now that we are ready for our breading, we've already got the egg wash started. We are going to take one plate and pour the flour out on that plate. And then on the other plate, we're gonna take the breadcrumbs and we're gonna put that there. And then we're going to take our salt and pepper, some of the salt and pepper, some of the Italian seasoning, and as well all of the grated Parmesan cheese, and we're gonna pour that into that breadcrumbs. This is gonna make the breadcrumbs flavorful. We're just giving it flavor. We want flavor all throughout this dish. <laughs> And so you just want to mix it all up, make sure that it gets all through there. And now it's time to bread the eggplant. And so the way you want to do this is it's always flour first, then the egg wash, and then the breadcrumbs. So as you see me doing here now, I'm just going to dip it into the flour. And any excess flour you just want to shake off. You don't want to have it too heavily um, in the flour. So let me just dip it into the egg wash and then, you know, give it a little shake because you don't want too much egg on it as well. And then go right into the breadcrumbs. And yes, you're gonna get a little messy making this. Um, the egg wash tends to stick to your fingers. The breadcrumbs tend to spill off the cutting board. That's just gonna happen. And so we're gonna do this with each slice until I'm done. And so once you're done, you're gonna place your olive oil into a pan and put it on about like a medium heat and make sure that it gets hot. Um, I just tested it out to make sure it was hot before I started to put my eggplant. And we go right into that olive oil with the eggplant slices. Um, depending on how big your pan is, you can do between two and three at a time. You don't wanna overcrowd the pan by any chance. So I usually tend to just do two at a time. Um, 
I'm just letting them get fried up until it's about a good golden color, a golden brown color. Um, and then flip it over and then get the other side nice and golden brown. And then we're going to remove them and when we remove them we put them on to um, a napkin to let it drain. You want some of that oil, to, the excess oil to drain off of the eggplant. You don't want oily eggplant. <laughs> And so with the additional eggplant slices, we're just gonna do the same thing. Throw them in the pan, let them get golden brown, flip them over, and then remove them. And we're gonna do it until we're completely done. And I did not do this today, but usually I serve this um, with a side of spaghetti marinara. And that's usually how you're going to get it in any Italian restaurant. They're going to give you a side of spaghetti marinara on the side of your eggplant. So if you do feel that this is not enough and that you still may be hungry and you're not going to be full, make yourself a side of spaghetti marinara and it pairs well and you're going to love it. You're going to just love it. Now that we have fried up all the eggplant, we have it draining on a napkin. And we just, if you want, you can take a little bit of salt and pepper and sprinkle over top of it as well. Um, and then we're just gonna grab a baking pan and we're gonna build the eggplant up. So now I'm here with my baking pan and I'm gonna take some nonstick spray and I'm just gonna spray that pan just so that the eggplant doesn't stick or burn. I'm gonna take the eggplant slices and I'm making a portion, this is a portion for two, so this is to feed two people. Um, and then we're gonna come right in with that spaghetti sauce, that marinara sauce, and we're gonna add that on top of the eggplant slices. Enough, you don't want it too much, but enough. And we're gonna come in with that mozzarella cheese, the shredded mozzarella cheese, and we're just gonna sprinkle enough on it. We're gonna come right in with those diced tomatoes. Yummy, everything here is just fresh this is just gonna be so bomb.com so I took some of that basil from earlier and I chopped it up and I put it on top as well so we just keep building the same way spaghetti sauce shredded mozzarella diced tomatoes and chopped basil fresh basil is always a go-to for me you can't beat fresh basil you know what I'm saying so now we're at the last layer here and we're gonna do exact same steps the only thing that we're gonna do different after we add all of the top is we're gonna come in with that fresh Parmesan cheese and we're just gonna shred that right on top of it and it's gonna be so much better then we're gonna place this in the oven on 375 and let it bake for 10 minutes now that we have the eggplant removed from the oven it is done, it is warm, the ends should still be crispy. I mean, you should be able to taste the fresh basil, the fresh tomatoes, and the cheese. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe or you won't know what we make it next week. I hope to see you all next week and thank you so, so much for Cooking With Confidence. Don't forget, if you do recreate this dish, to hashtag Cooking With Confidence or at me. All right. Until next time, bye.